Hello, I'm Paul Harris at the Richland County Public Information Office, and I would like to welcome you to Engage Richland, the virtual series. I'm outside the Richland County Jim Hamilton L.B. Owens Airport, and we're going to get ready to go inside and talk with Airport Manager Chris Eversman, who will tell us a little bit about the history and also some facts about the Jim Hamilton L.B. Owens Airport. Let's go inside. I'm Chris Eversman. I'm the Airport General Manager at the Jim Hamilton L.B. Owens Airport in Columbia. The airport is um, just celebrated our 90th anniversary. We opened on uh, April 24th and 25th of 1930. We are the uh, second oldest um, public use airport in the state of South Carolina. Yeah, we have about 25,000 operations each year. An operation is a takeoff or a landing, and so that uh, equates to about 70 operations per day. No, we are what is called a general aviation airport. Um, we are um, basically every type of aircraft except commercial carrier and cargo. We have a uh, mix of uh, county employees who do certain functions and our fixed based operator, FBO, Eagle Aviation, which is a private company with whom we have a uh, contract, they basically run the airport on a day-to-day -day basis. Typically, um, on a regular day, there'll be about four FBO um, employees on duty, and um, on a typical day, uh, there'll probably be about two county employees on duty. Yes, back in uh, 2018, the uh, State Aeronautics Commission uh, did a statewide study of the uh, economic impact of um, airports and um, the um, economic impact that was identified for this airport was $16.1 million annually. That's an interesting discussion uh, because there sometimes does not appear to necessarily be rhyme or reason as to how those uh, three character identifiers are assigned. Um, the big airport here, CAE, uh, we think that that comes from Casey, uh, which is where they are located. CUB probably comes from Columbia, uh, but uh, maybe the other, uh, maybe COL, uh, or some other letters in Columbia were already taken by another airport. We hope you're enjoying our Q&A and also an inside look of the Jim Hamilton L.B. Owens Airport. Now, let's go back to last year and take a look back at what happened during our Engage Richland event. Engage Richland and specifically the presentation about the Jim Hamilton L.B. Owens Airport. We're going to start with a uh, kind of an orientation about the airport and again a, um, a brief uh, discussion about its history which is very interesting and then uh, once we are done there we are going to go over to the South Carolina Historic Aviation Foundation hangar. Uh, they have a long-term project to restore a um, World War II vintage B-25 bomber. And uh, we'll be able to visit with the volunteers that are working on that and see their progress.
Well, the fact that we're 90 years old means that uh, we've got quite a bit of history uh, associated with us. Uh, probably uh, one of the most outstanding um, aspects of that was a visit in November of 1931, um, not long after the airport opened, by famous aviatrix Amelia Earhart when she was doing her autogyro national tour uh, in a uh, aircraft called Beechnut, which is a type of gum. Yes, FOD, uh, usually referred to as FOD, and it's an acronym, and it uh, stands for Foreign Object Debris. And in very basic terms, it is junk on a pavement uh, that you don't want there because it could either get blown away with uh, prop wash or it could get sucked into a jet engine and uh, do a lot of damage. So um, the uh, probably the most infamous FOD incident was the uh, when the Concorde crashed in Paris. That was caused by a uh, um, a uh, aircraft part that had fallen off a preceding uh, pre preceding departure, and uh, it was a, a terrible tragedy. Um, FOD causes a lot of damage and has the potential uh, to be life threatening. So we want to make sure we keep our pavement clean as uh, clean as we can make it. We have um, a total of 11 different buildings that contain aircraft hangars. And um, among those 11 buildings, we have a total of 120 individual hangar spaces. The hangars are not available for sale, uh, but they are rented. Typically, uh, typical lease uh, time is about three years. And we generate about 95% of the county's revenue from the airport from um, hangar lease uh, payments. Yeah, the, uh, we are honored to be the, uh, the home airport for the uh, Aviation Hall of Fame, uh, which is composed of South Carolinians, uh, either native born or those who came here in the course of their uh, lives who have made great contributions to, um, uh, to aviation and aerospace. Uh, we've got astronauts, we have got uh, civil pilots, we have got military pilots, we have members of Doolittle's Raiders, um, we have just a great array of men and women uh, who have done great things for aviation and uh, to um, house those, uh, uh, those plaques that, um, uh, that track their uh, contributions and their life story is, uh, is a great honor. Over its 90 year history has actually had three different names. Um, it started out as Municipal Airport Owens Field, Owens being the mayor of Columbia, who was known as the flying mayor and uh, the one who was the uh, political driving force behind the airport uh, first being built. The name change that occurred later on was um, um, Columbia Owens Downtown. And then upon Jim, Hamilton reti Jim Hamilton's retirement, um, the, uh, in honor of his uh, 40 years of service as the FBO and as the volunteer airport manager, his name was incorporated and uh, became the Jim Hamilton L.B. Owens Airport. That'll do it for this edition of our Engage Richland virtual series as we gave you an inside look at the Jim Hamilton L.B. Owens Airport. We hope you enjoyed our Q&A with Airport Manager Chris Eversman. And for more updates on future virtual Engage Richland events, you can visit our website at www.richlandcountysc dot gov. For the Richland County Public Information Office, I'm Paul Harris. See you next time.